Makeup, please. Can I just? How about I go like? How about I do the show like this tonight? Does that work? I can't. I can kind of see, but not so great. Hi there. I'm Jenna. This is Eleven Eleven with Jenna. I'm here seven days, seven nights, fourteen times a week. Did I make it back? Am I here? Okay. Patty, third time's the charm. William D., Patty Lohman. Maybe Julie Luce will make it on. Who knows? So you can hear me, right? William D., Patty <sighs> So then I went downstairs. I'll start the story over in a minute. I am. I am. I'm just going to. I'm going to do the show like this tonight. I can see you, kind of. Hi, Patty. Just don't mind me. I'm just coming up from the basement. <sighs> yeah, in a minute, Patty. I can't. I can barely. This is the third time I've tried to get on tonight. Right here at 11, 11, 11, 12, 11, 15, 11, 47, 11, 20. I don't like that. Where's my hair and makeup person? <sighs> Glad that I'm here. We didn't even have power a few minutes ago. And I'm just going to go here really quick and edit the privacy and go. It's public. And oh, yeah. Susan D, William, Susan H, William D, yeah, no power. And then it's just a long story. But Pa Ben had the right, the right bulbs, that's for sure. And I have the plumber coming over in the morning and just it was our refrigerator was out. And then I found out some other stuff about the. It's just a lot. Hello, Julie Luce. Julie, Julie, Julie. So, yeah. So I'm here, but I'm a little bit. Hey, there's Mama Grace. There's Mama Grace. I'm a little road, not even road weary. I'm just a little weary as, as, as to, after what just happened. It was a lot. It was a lot in a in a short period of time, and I'm really not enjoying what's happening with my hair. Always good to see you, even for a few minutes. So I'm just going to put on my Warriors champion hat. Remember this day? This was a good day. Warriors. That's tonight. Now what happened? Go here really quick and edit the privacy. I don't understand. Do you see me? It's public. Not sure what's going on. Go here really quick and edit the privacy. I don't understand. Do you, you see, see me? me? It's public. Do you see me right now? Oh, cause there's, I see no screen, nothing. Hello, sweet Jenna. I think the weather is being challenging with your internet lately. I, I had to turn all the internet and everything off tonight twice. Okay, well, I don't see me. That's the weird thing. So I don't know that it's happening. It says now playing, look, this is what I see. No screen showing it. 
very strange. Okay. Well, so the electric, uh, so after, I don't know if Rob is here. Helmet? You mean this? Wow. Oh, yeah, the power went out. And then my mom called the electrician and the electrician came over at 11 o'clock at night. And Tim, he's, you know, here's for Tim. He came over and yeah, there's something wonky going on because I don't know that I'm here, but I'm glad that I'm here. Um, he came over and we figured out what it was, but in the meantime, I brought some bulbs up that my dad had downstairs. And as I was moving something, I dropped one of the bulbs and broke it all over the kitchen floor. And this is at like 1107. And then we had to turn all the power off. So then the internet was off. And then I was going through all my dad's stuff again and it made me sad. And then I got here and I couldn't get on and then I got kicked off and then I got here and I couldn't get on and I got kicked off and the third time and now I guess I'm here. And apparently I look fantastic. Thanks Tim the electrician thanks mama grace for calling Tim. And then tomorrow morning the plumber's going to come crossing everything. I mean he's coming, but I just hope it works out. So. I'm glad you're all here. I don't know who's here. I guess I sort of can see, but I can't see the numbers. It doesn't show the numbers of who's here, but that's cool. As my father would say, who's here is here. Hi, Carlin, how are you? Nothing, and it was a, it was a small, it was this tiny, little tiny bulb this big. And I thought, I wonder if my dad had, because I thought it was just the bulb. Because when I went down to flip the switches, nothing happened. So then I went downstairs and I found a bulb. Of course, he's got this big box of bulbs, like 25 or 30 different bulbs. And then it just made me sad. And I thought about him. And then I found a bulb that worked. And then I came upstairs and I quickly dropped it on the floor. And then Lillian came in and I'm like, dude, get out. <laughs> she and I, we watched a really good movie tonight. What's the movie we watched, mom? Yeah, it's a tiny little, and it's one of those clear glass bulbs, you know, those really fragile little, it just shattered everywhere. So I vacuumed twice, and then I got up here, and then everything was kind of funky and weird. But we watched, um, maybe Grace is going to tell me. So thank you, Mama, for calling Tim. I couldn't believe she was going to call him so late at night, but she did. Age of Adeline. Adeline? Age of Adeline. And it was in San Francisco, and that was very cool. Yeah. Oh, Rob, you missed the whole. Oh, yeah. Oh, so then get this. So the electrician's here just now at 11.05, helping me figure out why the power's not on in the house. And there's glass on the floor. Yeah, puppy paws, right? There's glass on the floor, and I'm like, I need to move to a condo. I, I don't do this stuff. I don't know how to do all this stuff, this, this, but I do, I figured it all out. And then Grace figured out with the, with just calling the electrician really made a big difference. <laughs> Thanks, Mama Grace. But, um, and then she said, the TV's not working. And I said, that's because the internet is off because I had to turn it all off and it had to reboot itself. It was kind of, it was an epic from 11, it started at 1101. He was here at 11.05. The glass broke about 11.04 and a half. And I got up here at 11.11 and got on here and then it kicked me off three times. And still she persisted. So The Age of Adeline, sweet movie because it's all in San Francisco and then at probably Willits, Ukiah area. Could be even Lakeport, who knows. Anyway, Lillian and I and um, Maggie and Stacy, we all walked to the beach tonight and Lillian walked on the beach and she was happy and all that stuff. And then I came home and thank you, Rob Morocco, for helping me through that, the, the plumbing part. And then, oh, 
So the electrician, okay, check this out. The house I live in is two units, right? And we've always had those, the fuses because it's a 110 year old house. Yeah, I thank you, William. But Grace just calls her plum, her electrician at midnight and he came out well 11 o'clock. But he's there in like three minutes. Oh, I'll be right over. Okay. Um, so it's two units, right? And we've always been on the thing. Well, then he put in two new electrical boxes. And the basement so what we have everything a heater and you know washer and dryer and lights like normal houses do and then she has her lights and her electric and her gas on her floor and i have my electric and my gas on my floor and there's two boxes well apparently now you have to have a third box that runs the washer, dryer, and the lights in the basement, and the furnace. So that, like right now, you know, it's just, it's the us two, but if it were divided, and my brother and I lived here for a long time, so we just, I just gave them money towards it, because it all went on to the first floor, and I don't need heat up here, because when you turn the heat on, it all rises, right? So just now I find out 1130 that we have to get another box and he has to go in and rewire more stuff. And it's, I don't feel very glamorous tonight right now, but I do have my Warriors 2018 championship hat on, my lid, some of my drip. I don't know what you're talking about, Suzanne. This is the, the, this is the, um, according to the city inspector, right? The city inspector is, runs the city, runs, is the one that okays all the electrical stuff. So yeah, right, Patty? And hopefully tomorrow, you know, the, um, yeah, the plumber is going to come in and fix it. And then I got another guy coming over to put on other stuff. And then what? Then I could put on my blue glasses. I just forgot I had them on. Now that's a look, right? Hmm. Just thought I would share. Because then I tried to get on here three times. But I did get on the third time. Well, Patty. Oh, and then there's a whole other thing, but we won't talk about that. But it is trash day and recycling tomorrow. And then Grace and I are going to go do some errands. So tomorrow's show probably will be outside somewhere. My ear is all funny with my lid with my drip now our hats considered drip oh rob it all it was really cool we were watching a movie and then at 11 o'clock i'm like oh, i'm gonna go upstairs but let me put this away first in the refrigerator Ugh, major plumbing thing so yeah our hats called drips or is the clothing drips I got some new drip on. I have new drip on, but I don't know if a hat, this is old drip. This is new drip, speaking of drip. If anybody wants t-shirts, it's happening. We didn't talk about t-shirts tonight, Rob. We talked about everything else in the world. Rob and Carol went to a first communion today. So cute for the, your nephew. So cute, he is so cute. Made me want to eat cake. <gasps> I have cake balls. Gracie, we have cake balls. And and Melanie's and our dog, it almost just jumped. 
Oh, what a night. Yes, yeah, stay, stay warm by candles and lanterns. Uh-huh. Let's see. What's the temperature right now? It's warmer here now. It was 16 yesterday. Yeah. Well, I, I could have done the show without power because I would have just done it on my phone. We've done that. We've lost power here before, I think last year sometime. But I just remembered I have cake balls. Nice, 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 baby. All right. Well, I read something today. It's not a poem. And if it's okay with you, I think I'm just going to read this and then I'm going to go take a bath. Well, actually, I got to get ready for the plumber. I can't take a bath. I got to walk Lily and Pearl. So if nobody's jumping on, I will read what I sent myself earlier. Okay, you good with that? I got to make sure you're good with that. Yeah, I'm warm. It's very warm up here because I'm on the second floor. Okay. Yeah, William, I just saw your message. I've been knocked off twice and I don't and then I got knocked off here twice and I don't know why. Why do you think that is? Maybe this is going to be the this is where it's going to all change. Tomorrow morning, everyone will start watching 1111. Everyone's going to share the show with all their friends, and there's going to be 300 people watching. Might happen. You never know. Sometimes it takes a little nudge. Okay. Perhaps you've read this on Facebook in the past. I had, but it, it captured me again today, and I reread it, and I went, that's what I'm going to read tonight. Okay. Recently overheard was a father and daughter in their last moments together at the airport. They had announced the departure. Standing there, near the security gate, they hugged and the father said, I love you. I wish you enough. The daughter replied, Dad, our life together has been more than enough. Your love is all I ever needed. I wish you enough too. They kissed and the daughter left. The father walked over to the window where I was seated. Standing there, I could see he wanted and needed to cry. I tried not to intrude on his privacy, but he welcomed me in by asking, did you ever say goodbye to someone knowing what it would be? Did you ever say goodbye to someone knowing it would be forever? Yes, I have, I replied. Forgive me for asking, but why is this a forever goodbye? And he replied, I'm old and she lives so far away. I have challenges ahead. And the reality is the next trip back will be for my funeral, he said. When you were saying goodbye, I heard you say, I wish you enough. May I ask what that means? He began to smile. That's a wish that has been handed down from other generations. My parents used to say it to everyone. He paused a moment and looked up as if trying to remember it in detail. And he smiled even more. When we said, I wish you enough, we were wanting the other person to have a life filled with just enough good things to sustain them. Then turning toward me, he shared the following as if he were reciting it from memory. I wish you enough, sun, to keep your attitude bright, no matter how gray the day may appear. I wish you enough rain to appreciate the sun even more. I wish you enough happiness to keep your spirit alive and everlasting. I wish you enough pain so that even the smallest of joys in life may appear bigger. I wish you enough gain to satisfy your wanting. I wish you enough loss to appreciate all that you possess. I wish you enough hellos to get you through the final goodbye. He then began to cry and walked away. 
They say it takes a minute to find a special person, an hour to appreciate them, a day to love them, but then an entire life to forget them. And then, you know, it says if you send it to your friends and all that stuff. But anyway, I like the last part. Take time to live to all my friends and family. I wish you enough. Thank you very much for being here tonight. I am going to go take Lillian outside for a quick walk. And I'll be back in the morning to do some movement. And tomorrow night, we'll talk about movies. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for being here. And thanks for, for trying to get back on. And like I said, I can't even really tell who's here right now. But I wish you enough. Oh, I had a wonderful day today. It was just five minutes of, ah, but now I got to go downstairs and vacuum the the, uh, the uh, kitchen again. It, it really was. We had a great day. Oh, on the Bright Side podcast tonight, that's why cockroaches are everywhere and can survive. I think I'll listen to that right now. Yeah. Thanks, William D. Yeah, it was, no, it was rich, fabulous day today. But then at 11.01, but by 11.13, we were all here and it's all good. Thank you very much for hanging out and listening. I hope you have a wonderful evening, almost morning for some of you. And I wish you enough. Stay safe, stay healthy, be real nice. Love hard. Good night, everybody. Oh, B for Ben. Oh, Mama Grace. Okay. A B for Ben. B for Ben. B for Ben. I don't know what there was. Then there was Anthony. And then before him, there was Ben, my great great grandfather. A B for Ben. Oh my goodness, how and then I will say, I will say I miss them. Oh, tonight I missed you. A couple times I would kiss you. And I'll say to all of you, a B for Ben. I am so grateful for his box of light bulbs i am so grateful my mama can call her electrician at 11 1 p.m oh yeah a b for ben hey hey b a b for ben and then he would say just like I do, stay safe, stay healthy, and be real nice, but be for Ben. When you'd say, I love you, you know what he would say? I love you more. I love you more. And then I would say, I don't think so. And he'd say, oh, I do. I love you more. That's B. For Ben, I miss you, and now and then, most of the time. Yes, I'll drink some wine one day with you, Patty. And Julie will drink some wine. I'll be for Ben, oh yeah. And that is all, uh -huh. And for now, have a beautiful thoughts. Bright words and a B for Ben. A Ben like heart, yes, then. And then I'll say, 
I wish you all enough. Yeah, yeah. I wish you all enough. Yeah, yeah. I love hard. Really, really hard.